What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Daily Psalm, where every day we're going through one of the psalms. Here we are on day 111 for the third time. Hallelujah. Psalm 111. And uh, before we get started, let me preach the gospel. Everyone is going to stand before God for judgment one day. Anyone who hasn't received forgiveness of sins. Anyone who hasn't been made right with God is going to be judged and thrown into, into the lake of fire for the second death of body and soul. The first, this first death is just the body. Our soul doesn't die. But in the lake of fire is death, body, and soul, destroyed forever. God requires perfection in order to inherit eternal life, in order to be with him in his kingdom. None of us are perfect. We all sin and fall short of the glory of God. There's nothing we can do to earn our right standing with God. And that's why Jesus came. Jesus came 2,000 years ago, born as a human. He is God, not the Father, but the Son. He is God, came born as a human, faced temptations just like us, but lived a perfect life. And although he was perfect and didn't deserve any punishment, he didn't deserve to die. The death, he, death, death that he died was for us. The death that we deserve in the lake of fire for our sins, he died for us on the cross. So through him, that death is removed from us and we receive eternal life. Through him, our sin is removed from us and we receive his perfection, his righteousness that he lived out. Repent and believe the gospel. The word repent means to have a change of heart or a change of mind. Uh, truly means, in the sense that I'm using it, in, in the sense that I'm saying it, most of the time we see it in the, in the Bible, it means uh, turn away from your sins and turn to God. Turn away from your wickedness and turn to God. Repent and believe the gospel because we have to be willing to follow him. If you believe Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose three days later, and you call out to him to forgive you, to save you, and you truly mean it. He will forgive you. He will give you the Holy Spirit, which changes your heart and leads you to follow him. The Holy Spirit helps you to follow him and gives you wisdom, discernment, and understanding in the Bible and in many things. The Holy Spirit also gives you power in the spiritual realm. There is no power without the Holy Spirit. There is no power greater than the Holy Spirit. If you truly believe, if you truly repent and believe, he will forgive you. He will give you the Holy Spirit. He will give you eternal life. The Bible says we can't even imagine what God has prepared for those who love him. We know it's going to be with the Father, with the Son, with the angels, with all the rest of the people of God in paradise, in his kingdom, and, uh, and new bodies. Not these bodies that die, but new bodies that don't. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. There's truly not much time left. Now let's get into uh, Psalm 111. Hallelujah. And let me just say before we get started, uh, if you haven't seen, um, well, I finished up the prophets the other day. So we went all the way through uh, Isaiah, all the way through Jeremiah, Ezekiel, all, all the prophets. If you want to check out any of those prophet videos, just go to my YouTube channel, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash Larry Newport. And you can check out those studies. Uh, one study, I just started a new series yesterday, and Lord willing, will continue today, called The Words of Jesus. And we're just going to, we're just going, focusing on the words of Jesus and what he said, what he taught, who he was, and how we need to be. And uh, so I put that first one out yesterday and so something um, I wanted to say in regards to that, something I didn't mention in the video in regards to him saying he didn't abolish the law. Uh, most of the idea that uh, he abolished the law comes from the writings of Paul. And I also did a series called, Is Paul a False Apostle? Because many people believe that Paul is a false apostle and that he taught against the law. Many people believe that he's not a false apostle and that he taught against the law. And I show in this series that he is a true apostle. He's not a false apostle and he didn't teach against the law. So I just, it's a study through all the writings of Paul and what he meant when he said what he said. Check that out. Um, so we're also doing uh, the Words of Jesus series. We're doing the Daily Psalm, the Words of Jesus. I'm not going to guarantee that those are going to be every day. I do plan on it. 
Uh, we're also about to, Lord willing, Lord willing, we'll see. We might get into the book of Enoch. The book of Enoch is, uh, it's in the Ethiopian uh, canon of scripture. They uh, consider it the Bible, or part of the Bible. And uh, it's, it's, I believe it's really important. It gives us a lot of really important information. There's a lot of prophecy in it as well, but really important information. Uh, when it comes to understanding the Bible and understanding uh, the reality of you know, demons and fallen angels and, and uh, a lot of things. But Lord willing, we'll be getting, getting into that as well. And I'm considering, I'm going to, you know, it's, it's whatever the Lord wills, whatever he, he leads me to do. But I'm considering also doing, getting into the uh, Torah. I've already, in the past, I've done all of Genesis and part of Exodus. But I stopped like, at the Pentecost or the the Passover story and leaving of Egypt, so it's like three chapters before the commandments are begin to be given, and um, and I'm considering maybe on Sabbath days also doing those, also doing the uh, the Torah readings, uh, at least a chapter. But we'll see, we'll see what the Lord leads me to do, and uh, let's get into Psalm 111. Hallelujah. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. And that's what hallelujah means. Hallelujah is praise Yah. Praise Yah. I will give thanks to Yahuwah, to the Lord, with all my heart. And if if you don't know when I say Yahuwah, that's uh, my understanding of the pronunciation of the name of God. Whenever we see Lord, especially in capital letters, L-O-R-D, Capital letters, Lord of the Lord. It's uh, actually the name of God. Four letters, Y H W H. Uh, some pronounce Yahweh. Some pronounce Yehovah or Jehovah. Some say Yahweh. There's different pronunciations. I say Yahuwah. Yahuwah. And it's all just uh, you know, it's all just variation of pronunciations. You know, there's uh, Yahweh, Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah. You know. But anyway, <laughs> praise Yah. It's at least Yah. We know that it's at least Yah. If we go to the footnote here, for for the Lord in this case, in this uh, specific scripture, we see it's uh, Yah, Y-A-H. Praise Yah. I will give thanks to Yahuwah with all my heart. God wants us to offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, sacrifices of righteousness by obedience to him, and sacrifices of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. I will give thanks to Yahuwah with all my heart in the company of the upright and in the assembly. And this is speaking about in, the, in his... Uh, with his people in the body of Christ when we're caught up the rapture. I will give thanks to Yahuwah with all my heart in the company of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of Yahuwah. They are studied by all who delight in them. Hallelujah. Splendid and majestic is his work. Hallelujah. And his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonders to be remembered. Yahuwah is gracious and compassionate. Hallelujah. He has given food to those who fear him. And the true food, the spiritual food, the word of God. And understanding of him and his word. He has given food to those who fear him. He will remember his covenant forever. Hallelujah. He has, made no, he has made known to his people the power of his works. And giving them, giving them the heritage of the nations. Speaking about the, the, the rapture and, um, and giving us the kingdom. The works of his hands 
are truth and justice. Hallelujah. All his precepts are sure. They are upheld forever and ever. They are performed in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people. Hallelujah. He has ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. And I'm just... Look at another footnote, footnote for awesome. It says, inspiring reverence. Holy and awesome, inspiring reverence. It's his name. The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. This is important to know, important to understand. The beginning of wisdom. And it comes down to being wise or foolish. Whether we're going to be wise or foolish in the beginning of wisdom the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We uh, we fear Him, so we follow Him. We keep His commandments. We're obedient to Him, and that's the difference between the wise and the foolish. Both have faith, but one has true faith and is obedient. The other one is uh, sinning. We have to avoid sin at all costs. The fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. Hallelujah. One more time. The fear of the Lord, the fear of Yahuwah is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. In other words, the fear of the Lord is to keep his commandments. If we fear God, we're going to keep his commandments. We're going to avoid sin because we fear him. We fear his judgments. We fear his punishments. We reverence him. A good understanding have all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Hallelujah. And that's the end of Psalm 111. Brothers and sisters, let's stay strong in faith. Endure to the end no matter what. We have to overcome. We have to walk in all his ways. Let's be ready. Let's be right with him. Let's serve him with all our heart. And do his will in all things. Let's be ready and right with him and serve. Let's, let's do his will in all things. Let's be ready. Let's uh, shine his light in everything we do. Let's show his love in everything we do. And love is the most important thing. All the rest of the commandments are based on love. Based on loving God and loving, loving our neighbor. And uh, let's be ready for the return of the Lord. There's not much time left. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ, I preached the gospel in the beginning, explaining it. God just wants us to humble ourselves and turn to him, to truly turn to him and ask him to save us, ask him to forgive us and be willing to follow him. Repent and believe the gospel. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love y'all. Shalom.